Hello and thanks for joining me for this video demonstration in SOLIDWORKS 2010. We're going to take another look at how to create some more complex threaded type geometry using SOLIDWORKS. Uh, specifically, we'll show how to create a threaded swept cut feature. So here's an example of a part uh, commonly found in uh, oil field applications and we've got a, a, an area where we need to cut out some threads, some standard 12 pitch V threads. We'll begin by creating a helix curve. So I'll draw a sketch on the end face of the part. And if this is my nominal diameter, I just want to take this edge and use my offset entities command to offset that, that curve, or to offset that, that uh, edge, by about 0.051 or 51 thousandths to the inside. And that's an appropriate depth for a 12 pitch thread. So we'll make sure that that tucks down inside below the, the uh, nominal diameter. Now with that sketch entity, that circular sketch entity, we can now choose Insert, Curve, Helix, and define our helix parameters. I'll choose the Height and the Pitch option. For the height, I know that my part, uh, the, the length of my thread engagement is around two, uh, two and a quarter inches or so, so I'm going to put in a value of uh, around two or so, just long enough to, to uh, extend my helix past the area where we need to create the threads. The pitch is going to be a 12 pitch, so I'll put in a 1 divided by 12. SOLIDWORKS does the math for me on that. The direction looks correct, and I'll leave the start angle at 90 degrees, which corresponds with my front plane, or the vertical plane. Now that our helix curve has been created, we now need to create the profile sketch to attach to that curve. Now a V-thread is a pretty common item uh, and, and you might have different sizes that you use and if you use those a lot you might want to store them in the design library in the form of blocks. Basically it involves just making a sketch and then saving it as an SLDBLK file saving it to a folder in your design library. That way you can simply drag and drop that block into your workspace and we can just drag the endpoint and attach it to the end of our helix. We don't have to redraw any geometry. We'll now take our helix curve and our profile and we'll create a swept cut feature. With the profile sketch selected and the path curve selected, we'll get a, pro a preview of what the, the swept cut is going to look like. Now a couple of comments. First of all, this is an exact uh, geometry where the width of our v-thread is exactly the same width of, as our pitch. Now we don't want it to be any larger otherwise the sweep will intersect itself and you'll wind up with a rebuild error. The second thing I want you to observe is that the v-thread profile itself extends somewhat out into the air. By doing so that makes the sweep operation a little easier for the solver to compute rather than trying to cut off the profile exactly at the outer diameter of the geometry here. So it's a good practice whenever you're making a swept cut, especially involving helical geometry, make sure that your profile extends out into space just a little bit. Now we'll let SOLIDWORKS compute on that. You'll notice that this feature takes a few extra seconds to rebuild. The helical geometry that's created by this swept cut is probably some of the more complex that you'll ever find or that you'll ever create uh, in, in a modeling environment. So be patient and expect uh, some longer rebuild times if you do need to create accurate representations of those 3D helical threads. And there we have our modeled 3D helical thread representation. We can section our model, get a nice close look at those threads, and you can see how SOLIDWORKS has done a very good job of creating those V threads in the form of a cut sweep feature following a helical curve path.